All righty. So, what's up, my runners? What are we going to do? Uh, so, I was waiting. Um, I, I mean, they're doing you know uh, their own thing. But uh, mm -hmm. if we're in kind of wibbly-wobbly time zone scale right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at nighttime, do I notice it happen at any point where her device is no longer running a persona? Um, it sort of, like, cuts out just randomly. Like, it's, like, 13 minutes past 10. It just stops running. The comic's off? No, no, the persona fix stops running. Oh, no, no. Uh, I mean persona as in, like, she's sleeping. Right. So, oh, so yeah. her, you no. know. Sorry, I misinterpreted what you're asking. Yeah, uh, no, her um her com link uh, remains at the the entire night. Okay. Okay, yeah. so uh so but it but 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 if the persona fix turned on okay. Maybe around uh uh from 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 the T six search on her, you know, in terms of activity, because I'm seeing activity she's doing and I uh, have the next door mm -hmm. monitoring this thing. Does it seem like at some point, if, 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 if we're asking what was the last action, um, it starts to be like, you know, the last action happened five minutes ago, six minutes ago, seven minutes ago, and it's like she's not doing anything on it? Yeah. Um, so the comic doesn't seem to like be doing pretty much anything. Like uh, it gets like to around 10 o'clock and um, suddenly it sort of gets inactive. Okay. And then 10, like the the persona fix stops running. OK, I'll wait until the time elapsed since the last Matrix action was about an hour or so. Yeah, all right. Uh, Griffin or um, Cobalt, do you have anything you wish to do? Uh, I guess some uh, ordinary physical reconnaissance of her uh, place. OK, so you're driving out to Everett. Right. The looks of it, yeah, yeah. Just doing a little drive-by, that kind of thing. Yep. Um, so, quick question: Is the briefcase with you guys, or did you put it somewhere? That was what's the deal with that? Uh, did you guys run a tag eraser over it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought we had, yeah, yeah. Right. Because we found a tag, it went, yeah, yeah. We're getting rid of that. All right. So you guys erase the tag, and like once you erase it, the laughing, the laughing J stops. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, you guys have the have the cash in the car. Right? You, you head down to up to Everett. Um, takes you about an hour and a half to to drive there, but once you get there, it's like a small sort of suburban neighborhood, relatively quiet. Um, you're sort of arriving about ten o'clock ish. Um, the like when you're driving around, you can sort of see like there's a number of other sort of suburban houses that are all like sort of exactly the same make and model. Um, they don't look particularly fancy, but they're all like wooden sort of with a little bit of red brick here and there. And yeah. So can you give me a visual perception of her house as you drive past it? All righty, Griffin, uh, as you sort of drive past, um, do, 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 active security devices, things like that. Um, so as you both sort of drive past, you sort of see like the house has basic like sort of motion sensor um, stuff on the doors. Um, Kind of the they have alarms on the window, so if they get broken, it's it's noticeable. Um, and the all the all the windows are reflective, so you can't see inside of them. Um, they're sort of mirrored, so you, they can see out but not in. Um, and yeah, there's certainly like a couple of doors, like there's a front door and a back door into the house. Um, you can sort of see, like, from the street, like a big backyard. Um, there's a small climbing frame out there, and a number of like children's toys and things like that out there. Probably for kids that are around the age of eight to ten. Um, God, her life is already shit. We don't need to. <laughs> um, but yeah, and out the 
you can see a garage, like a garage door and everything, and there's a car, like a Ford America sitting at the front. Okay. If I, if, if I grid guide pass on, on my monocycle and I do the same thing, do I see is, do I see anything running silent? Um, not really. Uh, wait, give me a second. I have to quickly do some GM snafu stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really like see anything um, jumping out at you. Um, okay. I was just yeah. mostly asking if anything was running silent, so I could tell. Yeah, no, no. There's there's nothing running silent or any like okay. anything like that. Um, mind you, the motion sensors and the alarms on the windows and stuff like that don't seem oh, to be course. running wireless. Okay. Uh, um, but uh, is the car wireless on right now? Uh, it is not currently on. Oh. Do yeah. I see a security controller? Uh, can you define a security controller for me? Sorry. Uh, like um, like the device in the house that all this that all the sensors are wired oh, okay. to. Yeah. Um, not on the outside of the house, no. And it's not projecting wirelessly, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, Just my, my car. Yeah, my car is an ultrasound sensor. So, um, so uh, any ultrasound kind of. On kind of thing. Uh, like motion sensors are technically motion sensors. No, it's ultrasound. Oh, yeah, no, but motion sensors are considered ultrasound. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, other than that, there's no other like active ultrasound devices pinging everywhere. Okay. Cool. I I just wanted to check. You know. Were yeah. there ca cameras too? Uh, there were no cameras. No. Um, and yeah, otherwise the house looks like most of the other houses in this neighborhood. It's got basic security kind of stuff. Okay. Um, right now there are like those steel roller window things that can be, um, pulled down. Oh uh, yes. The house, but they're currently up at the moment. Okay. The shutters. All right. Yeah. Uh, any wards around the house? Um, there are. Give me a second. Um, there's no wards around the house, no. And nothing else I see that's uh, obviously spirits or other lights? No, there's no like watcher spirits or anything hovering around the house. Or uh, like. As you're like hanging around, like if you like, I, see a free spirit off in the distance and stuff like that, but it's nothing crazy. Well, I've, I've, um, I've obviously uh, parked a uh, bit uh, away, uh, but uh, I will try to cautiously enter the house uh, um, while I'm projecting. Uh, so, are you? Sneaking or astrally projecting? Oh, you're projecting. Sorry, you said projecting. Um, can you give me a stealth roll for your parking of the vehicle and everything, please? Uh, I've just find a parking sp space somewhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you, uh, what roll did you want? Uh, sneaking. Sneaking, yes. Uh, with uh, a guilty or a reaction or anything else? Um, let's go with charisma for this one. I'm going to be weird. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Cool. All right. Um... Also, like while you're like parking your car and everything, uh, Griffin and Cobalt, you've taken separate cars, correct? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Like um, so, yeah. So Griffin, you're like uh, parking your car and everything. Find the right spot, and you get like a phone call. Um, like it pops up in your AR display. It's got your wife, and she's like blowing you a kiss in the in like the picture that you've taken of it. Uh, <laughs> but then it's her. Um, do you pick up? Yeah, I'll pick up. 
She's like, honey, you didn't call me. You said you'd call every couple of hours. It's been now four hours. I've been worried uh, sick. Yeah, you, you know. Like, I get, I get it. You're a busy, busy, like doing stuff. But like, can you at least think of me? Like, I'm, I'm here. I have to sit here knowing that you could possibly be dying in a ditch somewhere. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm no problems here. Uh, right. Uh, Have you eaten? Uh, uh, I um, have uh, uh, been, I was at the uh, pub earlier, yeah. You didn't drink too much, too, did you? I know how you get when you drink too much. <laughs> no, 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 just a beer, just a beer. Okay, as long as it was just one. <laughs> and you ate, right? Do you need me to order you food? I can order you food. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Just be safe, you know, all right? Uh, yeah, I, I will be safe. Uh... All right. I'm just, I just worry about you, all right? Just be careful. You, you know, you shouldn't uh, contact me during this. Uh, I, I, will, uh, I will contact you every. Uh, Few, few hours if if i can uh and don't worry you you know these jobs are sometimes uh, i can't contact you but uh i'm i'm safe i'm safe okay i just worry that like sometimes like you say you, you you sometimes can't contact me and the next thing i know it's three days and i haven't heard from you and you're dead somewhere in a ditch and i'm going to constantly be waiting for you never knowing if you're ever going to come home it just worries me all right I don't want to be I that know. person who waits. I know, I know. Right. Take care, I love you. And I love like you too. Up. She hangs up. Uh, I'll, uh, Why do you make your wife worry, Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, if it's if it's if I've been watching that com link, uh, now seems as good a time as any to just mine it for the probably the, one of the two last chunks of info we need. Yep. Cool. Uh, just before you do that, um, Griffin, you're heading into astral projection. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Rip. Apologies. That's, that's right. No, that's right. I sort of fucking di diverted everyone <laughs> there for a minute. Um, so, Griffin, you you project out of your body. Yes. What does your idealized version of yourself look like? What's your astral form look like? Uh, let's see. Because um, that's something I always find really interesting with majors is how they perceive think the perfect version. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually think uh, like, like the. Uh, uh we can come back to it pr protective but cuddly bear uh, oh oh that's adorable okay cool um so yeah you're, you're currently projecting um you're above your car now um did you just want to do a quick like fly through the house and do an ascensing for me yeah is that what you're you're going for yes cool just roll that ascensing for me Two successes. Cool. So you like fly into the house. There's no wards or anything like holding you back. Um, and as you like get in there, you like looking around, and um, you notice there's a few auras in here. It's not just the single, single um, aura. It's actually four. Okay. Um, you can see none of them are. Awakened, and um, they're all mundane. Uh, they all seem healthy, and they all seem really happy. Um, and um, you notice that the in three of the auras, there's a number of cyberware in them, um, from like uh, I believe it's skill wise and. Um, Data jacks. Yeah. Uh, 
Are any of them sleeping in the same bed? Uh, two of them are in the same bed. Okay. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm happy for now. Uh, back to the car and uh, cool. tell the. Uh, Tell uh, the rest of the team, I guess, uh, uh, was it uh, Quisin in the uh, motorcycle yeah. close to here? Oh, I mean, we're on, we're on a conversation, so you can tell me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're in, you're in DNI, so you can talk. Yeah. I don't think Sin's directly, like, right next to you or anything like that. I think she just no. drove past and kept driving. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you can um, there, just talk there to them are... as if you're... As if you're as if you're talking in conversation, because well, that's the end. Yeah, I'll, I'll... yeah. There are four people in the house, not just her. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Which is what we thought. So yeah, that yeah. goes in line with what she's met someone new. She's moved yeah. in with them. There are kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I say this. Uh, uh, now, um, Griffin won't do anything to uh, harm the kids. Uh, well, I'm well. I mean, if she drives these kids anywhere, I can control device dump truck the rear half of the car. <laughs> she did it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible person. Yeah, um, there, yeah if, if, we... if something is. Uh, is happening while while they are in the car. That's that's uh, that's some uh, also that's an, another thing. But no, I will not directly uh, harm the kids. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. Also, that could make um, us suicidal. There's a very good chance that we don't want that. That's just common yeah. sense. Harm them are uh, another thing. Uh, that, that's if that's, we weren't if we weren't fun. being streamed. There are other things I could suggest, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, because there's, oh God, Persona Fix is so bad. <laughs> oh God, no. All right. If it makes you feel better, if it makes you feel better, I've already done horrible things that will probably come up in stream. So feel free to go nuts. No, I'm not going to judge you for it. Other people yeah. might, but they're going to judge me as well. So. Yeah, oh, yeah no, I don't. Think you're allowing it to happen. Yeah. I All don't, right. I don't want to go there. That's a place I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I have no problem. It just is extreme. Anyway, so that's that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can mine her and get and basically get her whole life because I because I need to know what these persona fixes are so that I can do something. So let's try that. Uh, and and we said she had no matrix knowledge, right? Yeah, it's very minimal. It'd be like what a normal person would have. She's not like a okay. So I'm probably close to that. Yeah, so I'm probably going to bootstrap her comlink uh, to do a shit ton of uh, edit file actions on Reboot mm -hmm. because it will be the owner of those files. Uh, so yeah. as such, would you want me to roll software or something to code up like a fake, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, software updated? Thank you for choosing Transys Avalon or whatever, you know. Um, In case she asks, only if she asks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can do that. You just need to like hack the comlink like normal and everything. Oh yeah. I just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right. Um, so if you want to do that, you can start that. Cool. All right. Um, cool. So that's your, you're just programming this fake message. All right. Go big or go home. Wow. You have a lot of dice to hack. Yep. Thank uh, co uh, Code Slinger, you know, Hot Sim, mm -hmm. Spec, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Yeah, all that, all that good stuff. All right, cool. So you get three marks on a com link. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so you jump in there. Um, it seems pretty bland. It's got like alarms set for uh, for work the next day. Already um, six. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so what are you sort of looking for specifically? So I'm looking for all the files on there, and I'm looking for anything that is encrypted and/or data bombed. 
Okay. Um, there is an encrypted file there. Okay. There is only, like, it seems to be sort of a, a group of, also, like, there's, it's, it'll only be, like, you're only attacking one thing, but they're all sort of grouped together. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is a question based on your based on your interpretation of how a compromised device works. If I bootstrap this, uh, mm -hmm. because it is the owner, is it possible for it to, uh, you know, create like an un like an unencrypted copy of the thing and send it to me, or is that not something you allow? Um, just because of the way the file is specifically set up and protected, um, no. Okay. Um, but is it just this one file that's encrypted and there's a bunch of others, like uh, unencrypted stuff, like call logs, messages? Yeah, there's, there's, stuff, like, right? the, there's tons of like unencrypted stuff. Like um, she, she doesn't seem to be like paying much mind to the, like a whole lot of her life. Um, so like you can see her basic schedule, um, her, when she's due to go to meetings, when she's due to be at work, um, that okay. sort of thing. Um, she's got a shopping list for like what she needs to buy food wise. Okay. Um, but I can't copy that stuff yeah. without doing the without doing a bunch more hacks. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bootstrap it to send all that shit to me. Um, yep. And uh, use that code message like it was updated while you were sleeping. You know. Yeah. Uh, because if you know uh, that happens, yeah. I mean, I mean that happens to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm getting hacked. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? They're just completely compromising your your phone. It's fine. All right. Yep. Yeah. So if you just want to do the um, bootstrap action. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Rick. Oh boy. All right. And you can keep how many of those? Uh, all of them. Cool. Because I got overclocked. High chance. Nice. And then we have to do, and then we have to do the reboot. But for some reason, it makes no sense. Reboot is is data processing. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. Of course, God yeah. forbid. Like sometimes you just yeah. want to force people to restart their devices. Like that's something wrong with that. Yeah. Um, what I would like to do is one of the commands. Um, I'm going to uh, issue this thing. Is based mm -hmm. on my previous knowledge of like when she wakes up and you know when she's doing activities and stuff. Um, yep. I'm going to get it to reboot, send me all the stuff, and then about ten, about half an hour after she would wake up and do all that stuff, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have it uh, invite three marks. Okay. Uh, from me. Yep. Okay. Like so, I can get marked. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. Also, you notice that oh. while you're inside of it, there's a device slaved to it. And what device would that be? It is a. Oh, okay. I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, was there? Uh, okay. Um. So, uh, one question, because this is again depending on how you interpret these things. Um. One of the files on here would there be like a file that corresponds to whatever the Persona Fix settings were, or anything like that, or like or or like a Simpsons copied file, or anything like that? Or would I have to get the physical um, shit? You'd have to get the physical chip to, mm, okay, to really like mess with it. You can like sort of see what it's like, what its base setting is, if you know what I mean. Like you have an idea of what it is, but if okay. you want to mess with it, you need to get access to the physical chip. Oh, oh, um, oh, well, that's fine. I just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just interested in what it is now. But I'll get that one okay. on the reboot. Yeah. Yep. No worries. Um, all right. So rebooting. Alrighty. So you reboot her deck. Um, not her deck, yeah. her comlink. Yeah. Oh, All boy. of a sudden, she is hacker. No, oh, um, boy. Yeah. How it is confirmed. Yeah, Excalibur. Um, so her comlink reboots. Um, it goes offline for 30 seconds or so, and then comes online again. And you see its persona jump up. And it sends me all its shit that wasn't encrypted. Yep. yep. Okay, so I'll copies all that, and like I said, yeah. um, when it looks like she's about to get active in the morning, uh, it'll in, um, about ten minutes after that, it will invite three marks because you because yeah. that's the that's like the one delayed action, you know. Yeah, so it'll be about like six thirty or so when that starts to kick off. So okay, we'll, we'll jump back to that when it gets there. If anyone else wants to do anything in the following eight hours or so, actually, before we do that, um, Griffin, you like come back to your body. You're sitting in your car. Um, and 
you're like talking to the team by DNI about what, what just happened. Um, mm -hmm. And you hear like a tap, tap, tap on the window of your car. You can see a man in like a pajamas. He's got like a torch. He's like shining it at your window. He seems to be like trying to look inside, but because it's the sixth world, like it's all reflective mage glass. So you can't actually see inside your vehicle. He's like, hello. Hello, stream. Hello. I just took took a a, a quick nap. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'm on I on I on my way, and I start start the car. Oh, I, I, all right. Like he's just like watching your car. He's got like a, he's like lifting his chin up, so he's like looking down his nose at you. He's like sort of squints his eyes. Um, he's got like a, some glasses on. He's like staring off at your car. Uh, it's, uh, he's in, in, in his pyjamas in a, a parking lot, or? Uh, well, like, you're sort of like parked in, it's like a suburban area, so like it's not ah, okay. a parking lot, parking lot. Um, you're just at like the front of someone's house and like he's just ah, okay. like wandered out. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, you, you drive off and like leave this guy in his pyjamas at the, at the, at the car. Um, so Griffin and Kobold, is there anything you wanted to do before about six? We've got nearly eight hours now. Uh, is there any research or content or anything like that you wanted to hit up? With I any, think any I'm doing some new information you have. Small fun stuff, uh, like yeah. uh, messing. Uh, that, that will not. Uh, end up on the sim rig but uh, mm -hmm. stuff like having a, a, a spirit uh, uh, and yeah. removing the water from the toilet so it stinks in their house and st stuff like that uh, just prank stuff mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, that's a little, I mean, yeah, we could do that. it seems a little low rent though, based on what he wants, right? Like he wants, he, he wants a really fucked up. Well, no, sure, but it's but nice it's... where you like, you start small and slowly and yeah, amp yeah sure. If you want to do that. Yeah, sure. That's fine. More, more of a slow burn. Cause if we go too flashy loud at once, it could draw attention, you know? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I'll just uh, uh, summon a uh, small force spirit to do that and then uh, uh yep um so did you want to go spirit of water since that seems the most appropriate if you're stealing all the water in there sure uh, uh, okay i can only keep three of those <laughs> That's unfortunate, but still pretty good. Cool. Okay. Yeah, one service from it. You have to resist four drain. Ah, uh, four drain from a force three spirit. That's Ooh, okay. Enjoy that. Enjoy that stun. Yep. Uh, that. All right. So, like, um, you this just, a, just a question. Uh, if I have a spirit use accident on her, that's not uh, apparent. The spirit doesn't have to uh, be seen for that. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have to be seen for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone else? Uh, I'm. So, you, you mean to use the accident power on somebody? Yeah, accident power. I mean, I, well, I mean, I, I mean, it's like any other mage power. Well, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's a critter power, but it's, but they still have to see the person they're casting it on initially. Mm -hmm. So they um, have to appear, cast it, and then could they return to the astral then? Oh, uh, after they cast it, sure. But I mean, but I mean, like anything else, you can't cross spheres, right? So it would have to materialize, yeah. do accident, and then dematerialize. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, but uh, it, it, yeah, the spirit can be out of. Uh... It has to be like a line of sight. Like, it doesn't have to be like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It has to be line of sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, summon spirits don't have sneaking, which is the no, problem. 
Yes. You all need task spirits. That's where it's at. Gosh. <laughs> I hate task spirits so much. Um, so you have this little little water spirit. Um, did you want to do anything with him right now? Or did you want to hold off for a bit? Uh, uh, no, I I I I, I will use that uh, uh, success that service to just uh, out the um, toilets. Uh, All right, so it's like the, a spirit, just and, like um, yeah, materializes we, we can and like sort of drags the water like out of the toilets, and, like puts it down the sinks, and um, and I'll uh, use yeah, I'll, I'll erase the sign uh, the signature. From the summoning, okay. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Uh, so, Cole, is there anyone you wanted to contact or um, get in touch with regarding the information you've now gained? I think my contacts are not that usable in here. Uh, I mean, my contacts. I've got a lawyer, Matthew Vaughan. He could get his some stuff to do with the thing, but I don't, I don't think we really need that so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got some gang, gang contacts. I don't think we need to bring gangs in into into this somehow. Um, not unless we want a bloodbath, but you know. Um, little bookie. Mm, worst case, I could play some fake bets in her name, and she loses money through that way. But that's a bit. Mm -hmm. um, ah, here's one. Um, I could okay, contact my club owner and see uh, see if she drinks anyway. Uh, give me your club owner's connection times two plus loyalty, just because this is not it's probably not going to be directly their bar that she drinks at, so she's going to have to put out word to other bars around like quietly and stuff like that. Well, I guess I uh, can. Uh, we should get some uh, 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 some drugs for her. Uh, so oh, one hit. Oh. That's terrible. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't even really want to put out feelers for that. Um, yeah, asking around yeah. where a girl drinks, it's a bit, it's a bit skeezy, man. Like, it if is. You it ask is. Her out, just ask her out. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I yeah. Uh, it's like a friend asked me, you know, because of you know, I help her at a yeah. bar. Uh, well, yeah. the, maybe the, maybe you should. Tell your friend to grow a pair and just talk to a girl next time. <laughs> oh, oh, I've told him that plenty of times, but you know, with some people, I like the bloody cowards. Is there any evidence yeah. of where she likes to go from uh, any of her personal files? Um, she tends to like pretty much go straight to work unless she's got a narcotics anonymous meeting. Yeah, it's and then she like goes straight home, or it's like shopping, like um, grocery shopping and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to go to the meeting probably. And uh, yeah, so you'll notice from a grocery list, she buys like a, a bunch of cereals and um, things like that for like kids as well as um, adults, adult food, um, roasts and mm -hmm. fun stuff. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I could anonymously attend one of the meetings. That's always an option. Mm -hmm. uh, I could. Uh... Yeah, uh, I will actually uh, uh, buy some uh, uh, bliss uh, of my uh, fixer. Yeah. Uh, so we have that available. Uh, yeah. All right. So do you want to you want to buy some bliss from your fixer, eh? Um, so uh, can you roll me your connection times two plus loyalty? Thanks. Yep. Let's see whether you can beat my my three dice to not stop you. It's so easy to get future heroin. I know. Like, why can't I have future heroin? Um. So yeah, you're fixed. Like, oh, I didn't realize you were into that sort of thing, Griffin. Well, but... I'm actually not. No, nah, you don't need to explain for, yourself to me. It's, it's for fine. a friend, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's for a friend, right, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, I can I can help you out for that. You know what? Because I like you, um, I'll even I'll even do it for you. Do it for you, pretty cheap. Um, let me just actually check what his loyalty is to you. Right. Not that great. Just uh... yeah, not that great. Like, uh, yeah, twenty million. Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty cheap by street standards, really. Sure. <laughs> how many, how many hits are you looking for, bud? Looking for a wild night. Uh, get me um, four or five. Oh yeah, someone's got a party. All right, yeah, no, I can I can do five for you. Uh, as I said, twenty each. Uh, yeah, we're good. I'll leave it at this spot for you. He like just drops you a location. Is that uh, covered by my lifestyle, or should I? Uh, no, you're, you're paying for drugs. You're not covering that with yep. your lifestyle. You're going to be paid out yep. a new yen for that. Okay, 100 new yen it is. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and yeah. by the way, guys, um, if um, we do get her on drugs, I do have, believe it or not, a official KE cop uniform. Hot. Oh. <laughs> It, it's a long story, but I have one, just in case. Mm -hmm. You know, we we want to use that angle. I could be the um, cop that comes along, you know. Yeah. All right. Um, so, it's around 6.30 in the morning, if no one else has anything they want to do before then. No, no, um, I would have gone to bed and get some sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's prob uh, probably the same, because I knew when the thing was going to come back up. Yep. Um, so about 6.30 in the morning, uh, you get a a bunch of marks thrown at you, saying like you're, you're being invited to be all over this thing. Okay, so, um, so, so I have marks on the thing, and uh, yeah. would, would, would you have allowed me to configure it? Um, I, I, and again, this is because I, I, I didn't think to ask, because I, I forgot to ask you before how you treated this. Uh, would you allow it to invite a mark on the encrypted file as well? Um, as in, uh, like you're asking whether the file will like invite a mark to you. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then what I will do is now that I have three marks on that, uh, for the immediate future, uh, I'm going to snoop it because I want to because if that's some file she's using, hopefully she uses it in the next eight app number of hours. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Um. So you're just gonna snoop. And so yeah, like while you're just fucking watching a comic, you see her persona fix has started running. It ran just a bit before six thirty. And I mentioned that. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, and I'm watching oh. for if uh, for if she accesses the encrypted file at all, so I can get the so I can get the password. Mm-hmm. That is fair. And I'll swap and fly on the wall and just sit around for a bit. I have baby monitor and program care, so if I'm getting close to the limit, you can let me know. No problem. So yeah, you're sitting in a com link just chilling out. Um, you just see her like accessing like different recipes. She's making bacon and eggs this morning. Well, soy bacon and soy eggs, but close right. enough. Um, and what is her persona fix, by the way? Uh, it is that of a uh, happy mother. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like yeah she's content with her life and helping like raise her children oh boy all right mm -hmm. um the the official name for the persona fix is domestic goddess <laughs> All right, solid. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so yeah, you just sit and watch her com link. Eventually it gets around to about 8.30 and uh, you can sort of see like she Brings up a, a map on of, of the current quickest way to work. 
um, with pedestrian traffic and everything. And yeah, next thing you know, she, she checks into work. Um, not too much activity throughout the day. Like she gets pings here and there for like uh, certain requirements to go to certain rooms to clean up in aisle three and stuff like that. Um, and like a day drags on. If you're not doing anything particular, I'll just sort of skip over it a bit. Sure. So um, and she she's getting emails and things from her bosses, like with the requirements for the day and which people require cleaning up and things like that. And it sort of gets to about four thirty, five o'clock in the afternoon. And she's then 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 looking up the current bus schedule with any delays or anything like that um, to get to downtown. Um, Did she access the encrypted file at all? She has not accessed the encrypted file once today. Ugh. What a bitch. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Griffin has actually been uh, back uh, home uh, sleeping a few hours. Yeah. So um, if any of you Um, but I guess, yes, I awake uh, now in the afternoon again. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're waking up in the afternoon. Um, you wake up to your wife cooking you um, some soy soylets, like omelets only made of soy. Um, all righty. Do you mind if I just answer you out loud? Oh, yeah. No, I just, I, I, I just wasn't wanting to clutter up the thing. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, so... Your ring can tell you that this persona fix is actually an official one. Um, it's oh. one supplied by Aries to help people who are struggling with, like, and therapists and things like that who are struggling with the way their lives are going. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, well, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. then I will. I will. Uh, I will. I will get a copy of that. Can I? Can I? Can they give me? Like, I mean, if it's an Aries thing, it's still illegal in the UCAS, so. Uh, can I can I get a copy of one? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you happy to attach that to a specific sin or anything like that? Or oh no no no, no. I'm getting it through the ring. Oh, uh, can you give yeah. me a you know two hits. Let me just have a. That should be right. I can't see it being an issue, but I just want to double. All right, where are we? Sign fix. Um, let me just see. It's for us. Six. Yeah, they can get you one. Solid. They'll send you a, a bootlegged copy that they've got. Um, tore it out of some poor sucker's head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you now have a copy of the Persona Fix for yourself. Feel free to slot it at any stage if you feel like being good at cooking and happy with your life. <laughs> ah, we'll slot it for a sec. Why not? Let's see. <laughs> Um, so you feel like an overwhelming contentment, a, a, a want to like settle down, find um, the right man or woman, and uh, have some kids in the name of the great and glorious Ares. And... Uh. <laughs> uh. We're going to unslot that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Other people, um, others, I think, so... Obviously, again, if this is for someone that is obviously undergoing depression, you don't want to tweak it too hard. But we can do things to uh, really mess with how she interacts with the world on it, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll 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 consider exactly what to do while other people are doing their stuff because he's going to the meeting probably because I would have told him that it looks like she's going downtown for her NA. Yeah. 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 I'll I'll probably be. Um... Uh, going there just to like wreck the place, see what the at the atmosphere is like. Trying not to get in too much contact with her yet, just watch and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, more like recon than actual contact. Yep. Um, so yeah. that when when I'm there again, she's more comfortable with me being there rather than me just being the first time she's seen me. I try and contact her. It's you know, yeah, slow burn. No uh, all right. So we're currently on day two, so I've just got to keep track of stuff. Alrighty. Um, so, out of curiosity, have any of you like used the SimSense at all during this last twenty-four hour period? 
Oh, uh, sure. Um, uh, when when I when I wasn't talking to the ring, um, I would. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, all right. So pretty much like the hiding of her stuff and all that. Yeah, like you know when we're looking up all her stuff and looking into her life and everything like that, because obviously the Johnson is very interested. Well, you know he didn't he didn't know any, but you know if if he is who we think he is, he he is probably interested. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, and like if you it, like. I'm I'm assuming like he he gave you like a birth com link so that he can get in touch with you sure. to let you know. So um, like he'll, you'll get like a message while you're like looking through her stuff and like her cooking omelets, uh, bacon and eggs and things like that. Um, and he'll send like a general message being like, "What a bitch! Can't believe she moved on from me." Uh, Are you sure you don't uh, want her hurt? No, no. Well, like she's gonna hurt, but no, you know what I mean. It's unfortunate. She seems very near suicidal. It's too easy, though, isn't it? Like, really, she deserves worse. I suppose. Ooh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. Too bad we can't cripple her for life, you know? Yeah, yeah it is too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Someone has got some serious issues. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying which one. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so you're heading to the meeting, Cobalt. Are you wearing a disguise or anything? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to roll um, fashion so I know the right kind of thing to go for and then use that with the disguise roll. That makes sense? Yep. So I'm rolling the fashion first because I want to look yeah. the part and then make it. Yeah, yeah. Would, we, would it be enough to uh, out her as a drug addict to get her fired? Uh, or do we need something more? I was getting. Uh, do you have, does anyone have any like business? Culture. Uh, yeah, I've got business knowledge skill. Yeah, I've got that. All right, yeah, roll me that, and I'll tell you. Uh, all right, so you can uh, take that as a one die bonus to your roll for disguise cobalt. Uh, and uh, and uh, when he talks to her, I'm not sure if it helps at all, but everything about her life and personal schedule that I have on here, um, if that would give him informed opinion on stuff, I don't know. Because I was um, business, and now I'm going to use the skies. Should we be eleven dice? Hey. All right. So business role. You saw, you, like, she's a corporate sinner. Yeah. Um, when she applied for this job, like, she probably gave her history to her work. That her history is probably sure. well aware of. Um, yeah. Her drug addictions yeah. and convictions and things like that. Um, but it's still being an active bliss addict is not something that's very conductive. No, yeah, matter. like they're aware she's a recovering addict. Yeah. If like she falls off the she, wagon, it could end badly for her. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yep. So you got five hits on your disguise roll. All right. Um, so you turn up to this um, sort of kind of rundown building downtown. Based on the information that Sin was able to pull from a comm link on where she was going and where these uh, meetings occur, uh, it's kind of run down. It's not the newest of buildings. Um, it's kind of in a baddish neighborhood. Um, all the windows have uh, are boarded up and like secured. And at the front, there's like a uh, a cheap AR display being like narcotics. Um, anonymous um, inside cookies and milk available. Mmm, cookies. Mm. Um, so if you head inside, um, so you're pretty much dressed. So are you going as the recovering addict or the junkie who's trying to get clean? Um, I'll kind of be going as like, I think I'd probably be more approachable to her if I was in the same situation she is, kind of thing. I guess someone um, who's like oh, well on the road to recovery, but has 
essentially. Stumbled occasionally, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you like walk through the um, simple glass door. It's not even mage glass, it's just clear glass. Um, and like come into a hallway. Um, there's like a little um, arrow guidance around to an open sort of floor area. Um, cheap sort of wooden plastic floor. Um, there's a whole bunch of like cheap plastic chairs all set up um, facing towards a lectern. And at the lectern, um, you're, you've, you've arrived like mid meeting, like there, there's some people up there talking, um, talking about like their lives and their struggles and um, their current, like currently just venting on how their lives are going. Um, how, yeah, so um, you can easily like move in and like sit down. No one's really like paying too much attention to you as you like walk in. Some people like look at you and give you a smile um, and like sort of encouragingly like nod to take a seat. Okay, um, is it like a seat that would be where I'd be able to see her, but I wouldn't be too close? That kind of thing, right? Where I can keep an eye on, but it's not too obvious. That kind of thing, yep. Um, so there is one, uh, it's towards the back, but you can like keep an eye on it. Um, and you're like three or four rows back. So like there are a number of people here. Um, and like some of them are in like business suits and things like that. Like the, there's some like wage slaves that um, aren't just people off the street. Um, so you, you take a seat at the back and like the meeting goes on. It, different people like get up and do the usual, hi, I'm Fred six weeks clean and everyone's like hi fred and they do hold that whole stick um and then eventually like judith gets up and, um takes stands at the lectern and she's like hi i'm judith I'm three months clean and i was like hi judith um she's like uh i've been feeling really good lately i feel like i'm i'm finally understanding what it felt like before before everything sort of fell apart. Um, it feels kind of good. Like, I, I know what I'm doing. Um, I, think I'm, I think I'm moving on. I think that's a good thing. Um, I just wanted to tell you all that, like, I'm really struggling right now. Um, and she, like, gives, like, this sort of, like, motherly smile at everyone. Um, it's kind of like a sad, and like, sympathetic sort of smile. Which, like, it, it does get better, like... It's hard, trust me. I know it's hard, but it, it can get better. And she's like, thank you. Thank you for listening. And, like, gets down and, like, people give, like, a little soft clap. Um, and she, she takes back a seat and, like, some people pat her on the shoulder and she's, yeah, just there. Um, the meeting continues. Some more people get up. And uh, do you at all volunteer to give up and and give a speech or anything like that? Um... I would probably just keep it kind of low key and say, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Um, yeah, and I would say, yeah, uh, like, hello. Um, my name is uh, Jin. I'll go with Jin. Um, hi, Jim. Hi, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've been to a meeting like this. Um, I'm kind of new to the area. Recently moved to kind of get away with things in the past. I'm sure many of you can relate to doing such a thing. And like you see a few like sympathetic smiles in there and like people nodding their head as you're talking. But I can tell that, that you're all uh, welcoming people and um, I hope through the su support that we obviously have here that uh, we and myself included can create a better future for all of us and uh, not have to go back to what we were. Mm -hmm. um, can, you, can you give me a con, please? Uh, sure. Any modifiers? Uh, let me just pull up my table. Alrighty. Con 
You're, you're pretty plausible. Like, you look like a recovering junkie, so that sort of helps you out. Um, everyone's pretty friendly towards you because this is a nice place. They're all nice people. They're here to support each other. Um, so that's another plus two. Um, yeah, they don't care about your street cred. They don't fucking know you. Um, and you're disguised anyway. Yeah. No, let's we'll just go with the plus four. Uh, and are oh, my pheromones working? Um, or are some people too far away? Yeah, some people are too far away. Well, this is just for a general audience kind of thing, and a lot, so a lot of these people have damaged their nose beyond repair. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so I'm dealing with a plus four, so, and uh, first impression count? Uh, yes, this is the first time they've all met you. You seem like a pretty likeable guy. 19 dice then, I think. That's uh, plus four, plus two for first impression. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm writing this in the background. Um, did, did, did she have the Persona Fix slotted the whole day? Yes. Okay, just wanted to know. Yeah. Um, Including while it's extrapolate. Yeah, you can extrapolate while um, that it seems she's running it pretty much constantly while awake. Okay. I just want to know because I'm going to be modifying it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're so generous, cutting these recovering saps. Oh, lovely, lovely person. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm cute and cuddly, honest. Um, so they're like, oh, they're like giving you smiles and like, as you finish like your speech, like they all like give the little clap that they gave to Judah. Um, as you like get down, like the leader of the meeting, like gets up, he's like, it's good to see some new faces, um, kind ones as well. And with tales of hope, it's, it's always nice to hear at these, these, um, these meetings, um, that people are going strong. Um, and as Judith mentioned earlier, she's hit the three month mark. So, uh, she has earned her. Three month, her three month, her three month uh, token. And like, Drew like comes up, he like shakes her hand. He's like, congratulations! Everyone's like clapping. Um, she gets like a little little token with a with a three on it. Um, she like, oh, she like, thanks him. And, um, then the the leader's like, all right, um, well we've got some refreshments. If anyone would like to have some, we'll just mingle and enjoy each other's company. There's no pressure. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. Um, but it'd be nice to get to know some of you a bit more personally. And you're like, the meeting sort of like comes to an end. Everyone stands up, like forms to like little clicks where they like know each other and see each other before and like have some chats. And they move over to a table where there's some, some water, some coffee, and uh, some biscuits and um, muffins and things like that. Um, Judith is actually like uncovering some cupcakes that she made herself. Um, and they're like little chocolate cupcakes. They've got um, a smiley face on them um, with uh, icing and sprinkles. Uh, what would you like to do? I think um, Cobbo kind of walk over holding a glass of water. Um, and we'll kind of look over the cupcakes and um, say, so, uh, these look fantastic. It looks like uh, you could be a d d domestic goddess, so to speak. Um, she like blushes a little bit and she like gives a little giggle and she's like, oh, it's nice of you to say, uh, please try one. Oh, I will. Thank you. And it'll gently bring one up and uh, do a smell test first to see if they smell anything unusual, you know. Yep, just give me the give me the roll. And I get a uh, bonus because of my olfactory sensor, don't I? Uh, of course. Yeah, yep. I can boost up. With its, cool, with its rating, yep. Oh man, 
You guys make some intense notes. I like it. It's going to make my job at the end easier. All right. <laughs> so you smell the cupcakes and you take a nice whiff of them and like you can smell how delicious these chocolate cupcakes smell. Um, and then underneath it all, a faint hint of rat poison. I can't know. They're just cupcakes. It's all good. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> she's oh, poisoning my. everyone in this room. No, they're cupcakes that she's made. They smell good. Well, that would mean she would be a domestic demon, not a goddess. Mm. Pause for thought. Oh, um, God, I should give ideas to my runners. Um, you just did. Bye. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cobalt will kind of take a bite of it and do a, like a smile. It's not too exaggerated, but it's a bit more than what it should be. Yeah, the cupcakes, um, are, they're, they're pretty moist. They're like... The chocolate flavor is really good. Um, they, you see, like, this is a pretty genuinely good cupcake. It's not, like, phenomenal, but it's probably what you get at, like, a, a half-decent bakery. So we'll kind of nod and kind of swallow it and take a little bit of sip of water to clear his mouth and say, these taste as good as they look. I mean... Who taught you? I mean, this is amazing. Um, and and uh, allowing us all to have a, have one of these, we are so lucky. Yeah, uh, look, I made a batch for my kids, and um, I had a little bit left over. So I thought you would all like. I uh, know they're not great, but they're half decent. Um, thought you'd all enjoy them. Um, I I I very much do. And on top of that. You've hit the three month mark. I mean, that is that is some doing. I mean, you really it, you really it, are a inspiration to us all. Um, she like blushes again. She really, really isn't like that much. Some people would be like two years, and um, like I'm sure I'm sure any like how long have you been sober? Um, I'd say we're like roughly the same time as you on and off i've had a few like i hate to say this but i've had a few kind of uh, stumbles along the way mm. you, you know i'm not proud of it um Look, and that's part you of be ashamed of it's hard um you just sometimes you just got to start again which um, which which brought me to moving because you, you know the, there can be a stigma you know, from where you've been in the past. And some people can be a bit stubborn, shall we say. Look, we're not here to judge you. We're, we're here to support you. Um, like, stumbling blocks are a thing that's happened. And, yeah, it's hard to get off it. It's, it's appealing. Like, it makes you feel good. Um, but eventually, like, I'm sure you've realised it. it's not real. It's just temporary until you can get that next hit so um yes. just gotta... experience is fleeting yet you want more of it it's quite yeah. a dichot dichotomy yeah um yeah it's it's one of those one of those things where you just get trapped in it and it's only when you hit rock bottom that you can truly start to climb back up and you're stronger for the experience doesn't feel that way, but you are. But it sounds like you've experienced similar things to what I have, and that's reassuring to know that there's, you know, someone on the same level, because that's hard to find these days. You know, some people can be very wrapped up in themselves and their own situation. Yeah. Um, it's something I, I, I constantly worry about is, becoming self-absorbed. I try to give back. Um, and that's a admirable trait. It really is. And it's it's so good to see that nowadays. Um, and of course, through these experiences, especially when I'm new to the era, and you seem like such a wonderful person, um, would there be a chance of, you know, because sometimes you need someone to support you through these things, I kind of support parlor kind of thing I, I don't know what they're called it's different areas call them different things but i'm sure you oh, like, a, like a sponsor exactly and you seem to be doing so well yourself i was wondering if you could be mine 
since uh, I don't really know anyone around here. Now, what sort of role would that be? Let's say... Let's go with negotiation. She's like, I would like you to be my sponsor. But you're not offering it anything in exchange, so it's not really a negotiation. Let's go with etiquette. Mm. Or I could spin it as we could kind of sponsor each other kind of thing. Um, but she might not be open to that. Because because I'm guessing she she, she would all already have one. It's distinctly possible. Um and and by asking that it could be prying too much when we've only just met. Uh hmm. My etiquette is it's still pretty solid. Um any modifiers? Yep. Um so she's friendly towards you, so a plus two. It's not necessarily advantageous to the NPC, but it's not annoying or harmful or disastrous as far as she's aware. Um and she has no romantic attraction to you, so that does not apply. And yep, yeah. no, that's that's all. So just the plus two. Plus two. Are my pheromones working? That your pheromones are working. Cool. And does it count as being first impressions? Is first time I'm properly talk, talking to her. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Uh, it's plus two, then another plus three total. Five dice. Cool. I just love the idea of Sin just driving past the place and just like creepily looking it over. Wow, I smashed that. Uh, I was I was gonna I was gonna do a perception, but I didn't need to because I I I had forgotten something earlier. Nice. Don't worry, I have a whole thing to drop on how we're going to affect this chip when we can gain access to it. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. You're all horrible people, so you just well, want to I mean, destroy this. Well, I mean, I'll be able to design. roll. Yeah. And I mean, and I mean, I can roll Beetle design and production. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like Put that uh, into I the an persona, idea. and away we go. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, she's like, oh, um, I don't think I'd make a very good sponsor, but if you just need someone to talk to or if you're having a hard time you can give me a call um, and we, we can i don't want to make it an official thing but yeah that, uh, that's fine that's fine i understand i'm new to the area you don't quite yeah, yeah i i said but it's very kind of you to at least allow to have that kind of off su su support it's not official but it can still be very helpful that shows just what a nice person you are um, she's like bright red at this stage. She's like, I'm really, no, I'm not that nice. Um, um, thank you, though. Uh, well, uh, I have to go talk to Steve. Um, so um, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the meeting. Uh, it was nice meeting you. I will she do. Works. And it's been wonderful meeting you. Um, she's you like, oh, yeah, my um, com code, if you need to talk, uh, here, here it is. And like throws you an AR, an arrow. Um, and kind of smiles and nods, and then leaves her to talk to Steve. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she goes over to like another group of people next to us, chatting. Um, they're just talking about like general rubbish stuff that's not very interesting. Um, it's a shame I'm not her type, or else it would have made, made made my job even easier. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, well, I, well, I mean, it's good you made the connection because you can uh, maybe get her out for you know. Um, a nice social drink some time and give her and give her lace of wine and then sw swap out her that message. that was my thing and that's why i wanted to do this in the first place yeah anyway while, uh, while that happens would you allow me to do some software rules to uh and to uh, make a beetle uh yeah sure um so you just with the base uh domestic goddess chip uh, you can make some adjustments holy boy Whoa, that is jeez. <laughs> I was busy. working on that. I was yeah. working on that while you were doing your thing. Right, Don't let worry. Me just, let me just copy and paste this into my own Word document so that I've got this oh. for later. <laughs> I was working on that. All right. Uh, that is... 
Ça, ça roule beau. <laughs> all right. Um, and these are all going to be, and, and, and I'm going to, and I'm going to try and use all my knowledge of software and fetal production to make this as like very subtle, so you can't tell that it's any different from the main mm -hmm. chip originally. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a shame you didn't add it on to make it slightly more attractive to me. But I know you can't have everything. Yeah. Uh, I kind of did because she's going to desire people who are not her partner. Oh, <laughs> and I've already laid lots of flattery on us, so say then later and she she can reflect on that. Well, you know, hopefully at some point this this will destroy her relationship. That's kind of the idea. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh oh yeah, that's one of my plans. Yeah, they kind of make her get caught doing something. Yeah. Yeah. She's, also, she's also gonna make the kids hate her and she's gonna screw up cooking and you know she's gonna randomly remember her old family and she's gonna want drugs and she's gonna start losing respect for authority which is really bad in Aries mm -hmm. and we're specifically okay. gonna suppress depression so it's not gonna contribute to suicidal but it's gonna amplify other negative emotional feedback mm -hmm. it'll increase her anxiety and everything else yeah, yeah. And it's going to make her be mean at Narcotics Anonymous to other addicts um, in subtle ways. Yeah. As long, well, yeah, as long as it doesn't affect me as well. But, you yeah, you can't have everything. You have to have it general-ish, otherwise it's too obvious. Yeah. yeah. All right, just give me a moment. Do -do. So All right. right. Well, I'm, I'm just slowly here. reading through everything, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'll get you to do software roles. Uh, okay, so that's your knowledge skill? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That is a harsh one. Which one? The, uh, the interspersed rare and random flashbacks of her children's <laughs> laughter. Yes, I saw that. Was associated like... with a car crash. Impart a sense of misery at her failure to protect her children. Jesus. So uh, you are you are harsh, man. Jeez. So we're gonna we are absolutely going to give the Johnson a copy of this. <laughs> because, oh, yeah. he's gonna want this. He's gonna want to know this. But yeah. the question is, is it gonna be flashy enough? Because you want some something flashy. Remember? Well, yeah, but, yeah, but but uh, remember, this is this is gonna be like her whole life, right? Like this, like like this this. If you manage to get this into her, whatever whatever other one or two things we do is going to be amplified by it, right? True. And it's a good thing we're doing this slow band so it'll be subtle so that she won't notice it happening until yeah. it's basically too late and a world's crumbled. Okay, very nice. Um, you can also get another additional two dice for the fact that uh, you have the base. Actually, we'll make it a plus four because you have the base chip. Um. Okay, so um, you send the new chip off to the Johnson. He, well, I mean, uh, well, I mean, a copy of it. Yeah, like the the code for the new chip, essentially. Um, and he receives your eight, eight. new yeah. persona fix, um, and. After like probably ten minutes. Um, by the way, were you running your sim rig during the whole? Um, oh sure, I'm going through this. And I'm like yeah, coding yeah. it, and, and um, like you know, I was I, as well. Yeah, and like I'm not yeah. sure what I, I'm not sure I'm not sure what coding a beetle in VR is like, but it's probably like you know, ooh, you know, we're gonna take this negative track and pull it up a little bit, you know. Yeah. I I don't exactly know how it works, but it was but but it was pretty subtle emotion, like ooh, let's 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 stick in the f the feeling of failure here, you know, like yeah. All right. Um, so, you, like after like ten minutes, um, you get a message back, Sin. Being like, Ooh, very, very nice work. This will be entertaining to watch, to say the least. Yeah, the ring. Um, the uh, ring's gonna like it too, because they can sell it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and like a minute later, you get like another message being like, "So, do you happen to know whether she's sick or anything like that? Like any diseases?" Not at the moment. Uh, on the T6, did I find um, where she got, uh, like, you know, who her doctor was? Did she go to a like independent doctor or anything? Uh, she saw an Aries doctor. And when I say like an Aries doctor, it was like a, a clinic for sinners. Okay. 
Um, I can definitely try and get her medical records. Why? Do you uh, uh, suspect something? I don't suspect anything. I'm more curious than anything else. At the moment, I don't know, but I can certainly find out. I can try to find that out, too. If you... Yeah, that, too. Could you... Oh, yeah, you could you, uh, a sensor and find out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, 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 wait until she comes to NA and give her a super a sense. Um, and you get a, a message, Cobalt, as well, being like, oh, that was perfection. Um, good, good working your way in there. It was, it was, it was masterful to watch. Couldn't have done it better myself. Well, this is why you hired us in the first place. We know what we're doing. Um, so... Like, uh, she, like, the meeting goes on. It gets around to, like, quarter to six around that time. Um, the meeting's been going since about five-ish. Um, and, like, she, she excuses herself, says she has to get home and cook dinner for the family. I think I, uh, I will be uh, somewhere uh, outside uh, preparing to do an uh, assessing. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Can I so do? A, can I get a, a spirit to? Uh, I know I can get a spirit to do the sensing. Can I get a spirit to assist me with the sensing? Um, I don't believe they can. No, you can't. Okay. No. I mean, it's, it's a nice idea. idea. Yeah. All right. So, give me your sensing roll. Nice. Hey, everything. Nice. I get if she's technomancer. <laughs> well, you got it. She's a technomancer, everyone. <laughs> um, We're screwed. No. <laughs> <laughs> no um, she has very little, like, as, I, as I've mentioned before, she has very little um, cyberware and stuff like that. It's mainly like a smart link. Um, she has a Bioware, I can't remember the exact name of it. Starts, it's the one that reduces the effect of drugs and things like that. Reduces the... Um, oh, nephritic. Amount. Yeah, nephritic, that's it. Um, mm. And she has had um, gene treatments to remove certain diseases. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh, and also I should add one more thing to the chip, which is, uh, in, which is increasingly screw up her aim, so she performs worse at shooting. Because that's really bad for an Aries person. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. There's even a bit in there that's specifically focused on being good at shooting to protect yeah. the family. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she should wing one of her kids. We should do that. Anyway. Right. Um, so, yeah, you, you get that information about her. She's a Mundi. Yeah, that's, that's okay. the stuff you get from her. So she's, she's currently disease-free. Um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, I mean, if we do all this, if we get her on drugs, we put her on the persona fix, and, you know, over, because, I mean, this is an extendy, timey, you know, wibbly wobbly job. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, her life will get worse over time, but there has to be like a big flashy end, right? And, mm-hmm. you know, it seems like if, you know, KE is being lenient towards her, but the thing is, if KE is being, actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh let me roll something here. All right. Well, if K's are going to be billion, we can't really use them too much, but we could use... Ah. Um, but, uh, uh, so close, well, so I have close. gang contacts, so I could get her in, in trouble with gangs instead. Perhaps, but the thing is, remember, if is being lenient with her, right? And that's the kind mm-hmm. of thing that can flash back badly if it turns out that, you know, they're being lenient to somebody who did a big bad. Right. So frame her for yeah. something. Yeah. Well, no. Well, I mean, I don't even have to frame her. I can just control device her car to run over a kid or something while she's driving and high on drugs. And that would be the flashy end. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but then at the same time, we don't want to make her suicidal, so it's got to be flashy, but in the right way. Oh, you know, but no, her, her being suicidal is fine if she's on suicide watch in prison, because then she can't kill herself, and her life is yeah, still and it's. 
like the Jade didn't say that she can't not go in prison. Well, I mean, uh, Quishin would ask with because you know she's like, nope, doesn't have any diseases. Also, are you fine with her going to prison forever? Hmm. It'd have to be like one of those bad prisons. It can't be like the upper class prison. I I mean, you probably don't go to good prison for running over children. Yeah. Maybe multiple children, just to make sure. Uh, does she drive past a school on the way to work? Uh, she does not drive. Oh, well, does her car grid guide pass? Oh, no, she takes the bus, she, doesn't she? She, she? she walks to work and she takes walks, the bus, yeah. too. Ah, fuck, you're right, Rip. Sorry, never mind. Hmm. Because okay. uh, be, because of the accent she had, because she might not be allowed to drive. Ooh, ooh, I know what I can do. Mm. Upon inspection or receipt of a very, very certain stimulus, right, in this, mm -hmm. uh, in this chip, uh, uh, it inspires homicidal rage, kind of like, kind of like the Shadim power or the oh, Shadow yeah. Spirit power. Yeah. And what that would be is I could plant something on, you know, in like the schedule on her comm link. Next time she reads her schedule, it, you know, it activates the trigger password or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I could, and I can also add that file to the next time the file is inspected and read, delete this trigger password. And that could be the big flashy thing because she's going to work and you, and the next time you see a child, um, you know, start stabbing them. Jesus. You are evil. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll just take it to a whole new level. I people. love you, As. I love you so much. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you know, I get to have fun. Dude, dude, yep. dude, dude persona fixes are <laughs> so dude, dude. fucked. They are so yeah. fucked. Oh yeah, they're real bad. Like, like they're Jesus. used for like really. They're they're used for like good reasons at times, but you can do some real fuck shit with them if like oh, someone yeah. gets a hold of them. I mean, yeah. I was just thinking of destroying like her job and like her marriage, but you're just gonna, jeez, man. You're he cold. Said, he said flashy, <laughs> so he said flashy. So we yeah. do mess up our life, but the end has to be flashy, right? Mm. Um, and so oh, that you flashy. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, think about it. If she kills somebody, right? She goes to jail forever. She goes to really bad jail forever because you know, if Ke was being lenient towards somebody who then turned out to be a homicidal maniac, they're going to throw the book at her. And also because she's a corpse sinner in public, doing this to public people. There's a bit more of a perception of you done fucked up, right? Because corpse sinners generally get more leeway with stuff that can be covered up, but way less leeway with stuff that can't, right? Remind me never to piss you off ever. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I have some ideas for uh, uh, her work day. Actually, uh, I can go in invisible and then use magic fingers on. Everything she does, <laughs> and Trying also make ahead. things like suddenly appear in her pockets, which, which like she hasn't picked up, so it's like she's stealing. Yep. Yeah, sure, you can do that. Um, all right, uh, all right so we've created this like persona fix. Yeah, and 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 uh, and uh, do people think that if we want the big flashy end to be the prison thing, because the Johnson said he was okay with that, right? Yeah, he said as long as it's a bad prison. Oh, it's sure, yeah, an upper class prison. Oh, you're not going to an upper class prison for a corpse center publicly murdering a child. Hell no. Oh you're no, right. like if you tell him that's what you're planning, he's like you, you just received like the uh animation of a slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. He, and, he's, and he just sends respect. And actually, to be fair, I will code that into this thing as well, because if I was to give this to the ring and be like, hey, you know, you can uh every so often have a ha have a unwilling assassin. Why not? They'd love that shit. It'd be great. Uh, just someone slowly losing their mind, God. and then and then murdering someone when they when 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 they see uh you know some like code phrase. So like you know we'll have some code phrase. I'll ask him if there's a code phrase he'd like, or something um, he'd like her to read before the end. Hmm. Let me just quickly look something up. What would he like? Um. Da -da 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 -da. I, I get the feeling we're not going to be getting any karma for this job whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, from the payment, I mean, I mean, from the, I mean, from the payment and the threat level, we weren't going to be getting much anyway. But no, this would be more like minus karma. You're not helping anybody. Mm -hmm. Well, we're helping uh, the Johnson. 
Um, yeah, who uh, may or may not have faked his own death. You know. Yeah. Um, make it Kenji gives his regards. Okay. I uh, will 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 uh, will will close in. Oh, also uh, one last thing for the chip will be um, start uh, start being risky without by not encrypting things. <laughs> or or um, unencrypting more t- more to be precise. Yeah, risky risky behavior, risky behavior. Like I said in there, that 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 would be part of that. You want the thrills, right? You gotta have the thrills. Mm-hmm. So risky yeah. behavior as well. Yeah. Yeah, like. Um, Flirting with someone at uh, your uh, NA meeting and possibly having C- secret rendezvous, you know, which may or may not be uh, secretly recorded. Well, and then... uh, yeah. Well, I well, well, I mean, I well, I mean, I can get Lacey wine and and like and like all that shit. That's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's probably going to be up to you two to actually get to actually replace the chip because it's a physical chip, right? That she has mm-hmm. in her mm-hmm. comlink. Uh, well, that's that's fine. I mean, if we lace her drink and she's a bit more compliant, and her clothes may or may not stay on, you know. Uh, okay, uh, you can sure. Uh, so I have the chip. I will provide copies of the chip to 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 you guys. Um, I'm not sure how we're going. So okay, so I'm sorry. Was there another tack we would want to take, or does this or does this seem like a good way to? A, fuck up her life horribly over the course of about a week or so, and then B, have a big flash that ends it. It sounds like it's going to slowly ramp up, and then it's just a car crash, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, we can't do much worse, Let, let's be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I All mean, right. we could, but we probably shouldn't. Yes, yes. Because right. we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Yeah. Oh, and and uh, she's Aries. So from from everything we learned, um, at that meeting, uh, what was she carrying? Uh, she was not actually. Oh uh, wait, she has a certain uh, persona fix that tells her protection for her family is necessary. And as an Aries corpse center, she has to be able to protect herself as yeah. well. Yes, and if you want me, I can me, uh, roll a a kind of delayed perception roll to see what I spot on her, if that's what you'd like. If she's an Aries uh, corpse in her. She'd be like guns, guns, yeah, guns. No, she's she's not she's not concealing her her weapon at all. Um, all right. I was just yeah. so I could have. Yeah. Um, so she she is carrying the good old fashioned Ruger Super Warhawk. It's not all yeah. effective. Yeah. Se- With enough se- stopping se- power to take down a troll. Secretly Lone Star. <laughs> Uh, is, is, yeah. is, is, so, so she's carrying the Warhawk. Is she carrying the drugs to sprinkle on the trog who was resisting arrest? And unfortunately, that was she's not a KE persona fix. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aries. Yeah. Okay. So that would have made it very. Yeah. So, so the homicidal urge that we'll put in will be the desire to, uh, you know, murder, murder, like you know, um one of the children she sees, it should be between six and eight, preferably an elf, and definitely a girl. Because uh, that's going to draw the most... Um, <laughs> I, right. I actually... Uh, the, the elders at the home, I'm okay with murdering children. Not that okay with... Actually. Well, I'm just telling you it's murder. I'm not telling you it's children. You don't need to know that. Yep. Because <laughs> you've already that's... stated, you've already said to them that like you're not in for children, um, being having children, right? You said yeah. that like right at the start. I'm yeah. pretty sure. So it would not surprise me if Sin completely like just failed to mention exactly yeah. who they were murdering. Griffin doesn't know about the. All I, s- <laughs> all, all I said is murder, and if that means that she murders a kid first off, oh shit! Well, it was the first one she saw. I'm sorry. I did. You know, I didn't code that in. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, just don't know Matrix. You're Get probably going to require. A, you're probably going to require a con at the end. Of that? Oh, he's not so going to believe me, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, all right, cool. All right. Excellent. Well, if it was me, then you could probably get away with it, but it's not. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that'll um, screw her life. But I mean, like that has to be the flash to screw her life up hard. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, def- definitely, definitely a girl because that draws more. Definitely between six to nine, and preferably an elf because everyone would care about elves more. If, I mean, if she shoots a, if she shoots an orc kid, nobody cares. The mom has ten others anyway. You're not wrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I know. 
Because um, orcs do have litters. We've had this discussion before. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, so we are now at the three hour mark. So shall we take another 10 minute break and then get on to probably wrapping up the run in the next hour, hour and a half? I guess. Sounds good because I need lunch. I guess this Provided. is social go time. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a weird go time where we're not really doing much. It's just, it's just going to be a bunch of rolls and a tiny, tiny bit of RP, and it's done. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, from the from the choice of the team, that was the idea of this run anyway. He wasn't wanting a yeah. gunfight. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, well, I, I didn't choose like a bunch of muscles and shit for a reason because the Johnson doesn't want you to murder her life. He wants you to ruin it. It's going to be pretty ruined. Yeah. Yeah. The it's going to be the. Pretty much, you couldn't get any more ruined even if you tried much. Unless yeah. you wanted to ruin other people's lives around her as well. That, that's the only way that we can make it worse. Alright, um, so yeah, we'll take a 10 minute break from here. And uh, feel free for viewers to unmute themselves and have a chat with us. I'm going All to right. still be seeing.